Hey guys, uh, welcome back for another video. So, uh, like from now on, let us see the examples of uh, uh, malware and how do we analyze uh, via JDAX or any compiler, right? So, so far, let us let like, let me show you with uh, JDAX. Uh, with in upcoming videos, let us put uh, as a bonus videos with some JBD compiler or G GDA or any other uh, private third party decompiler right so uh, first of all uh you know when we talk about a phs uh the common phs we see around is a spyware because the user uh data uh, like whatever you call the context or sms have a very huge value right uh let us talk about like like i'm talking on india right uh nowadays we see a lot of uh, loan applications coming to lend a loan with uh so and so interest and uh you know when they come ask you to give a permission for a contact and uh, sms and all and when you give a context uh, they will exfiltrate all the contacts to the party server and when you fail to repay the loan back they they uh, you know they're gonna send uh, harassing messages to all the contacts uh, like whatever it is there right so uh, this is how like this is another reason and other reason is uh, there is a huge uh you know market for contacts like phone numbers right so people are gonna sell each number for so and so bucks so that is a, like one of the main reason and and there will be some particular target based things also so in this uh video let us see uh one one of the banking application okay so one of the banking application uh, and let us do the re for the banking application we'll see this is a fair money fair money like uh it might have a self pending that's the reason it might not blow i'm not going to show any dynamic analysis because dynamic analysis is just uh you know invoking uh, uh like majosa or bypass sl pinning and reading the request so rather than that i want to build your knowledge or static analysis because when you talk about malware analysis dynamic analysis is um, like uh like other important thing also but the main main uh the uh, as a being analyst you have to understand the base code of the malware right so i have loaded uh the uh, code i mean like the apk inside a uh, jdax so okay i don't know what is the where is the dark mode i'm just checking for a dark mode uh okay okay mm, not an issue fine uh fine like uh one thing keep in mind whenever you load an apk uh before before getting into directly driving analysis the first important thing you want to analyze is the android manifest first go into the android manifest understand what are the permissions are getting requested from the application right suppose as i spoke it is doing some spyware activity and it is a loan application so it is asking for read contacts read sms external story and even read phone state and location and it does even have the user permissions uh runtime permissions and uh, and and it, it does even have uh activities uh services declared you can see here start upload uh go back sorry lot of lot of activities has been uh, there right so so first important thing is understand the <coughs> permissions based on the permission you can you can try to start your hari so as as of this we seen the uh, like you know permissions as read contacts and this uh, read sms so we know the apis of read contacts and read sms right for read contacts we will search as a contacts contract for a read sms we use uh, you know a con uh, <coughs> content colon slash slash sms right that is the uri used to fetch the sms from the inbox so let us start with uh, a contacts contract contacts is taking a lot of time to uh, index the strings contacts contract let's type okay contacts contract I don't think so. It gave proper uh, results. Context contract. Okay. Okay. Now we got a uh, uh, proper results. I guess. Right. Yeah. We have our proper results. So you can you can choose. Uh, you can you can you can even uh, extend this and you can try. 
you can try to look into the parameters or what kind of thing. Uh, this side you will get the functions which are which are calling the context contract and this side it shows the whatever a string you are searching for. So you you have to you have to manually check uh, one by one. So but I feel this is what something suspicious because it it is like this function it is trying to query across the context and even it does have a query parameter that has been uh, directed to context uh, book phone book of application right. So let me try to go there. Okay, so query contacts, so it, it, like it has been initialized and whatever it is there, it will be stored in a, a, a contact uh, cursor, like I mean like the pointer towards the phone book, right. So either if, if you want to check like how it is uh, inquiring, you can find the usage of it and uh, you can uh, go to this and you can see how, how it is. Uh, inquiring it is trying to populate and other other parameters not this uh, contact cursor uh, go back find usage you can go to here also and trying to check for a cursor or else can you can go back find the usage this is what or else you can go here and you can see whatever the cursor properties there it is having to arrelish and arrelish is putting to result map and again it is getting the counted and apart from that uh populate contact these are read contacts uh yeah this is this is the uh, usages of uh, contacts and another another thing if you want to check i think even this is the same right this uh fine let us see let us now let us see when when this uh query contact is got a uh, triggered right so uh here if you see that here it has uh one doing background uh async task where uh it has been initialized this dot contact dot query contacts and even it has a query sms let us see okay so this part of a code is responsible to inquiring the contact just uh inquiring the contacts and if you see below there are something like read contacts and read sms probably this will uh process the reading task hopefully not here uh, go back okay get contact yeah you can see here this is responsible for reading contacts i mean like uh yeah yeah here you can see how contacts are read and turned into a map right so whatever the values has been uh, got it will be initialized again in in this reference and even here read sms if you want to check uh, okay so they are trying to uh, sms read individually i think they are trying to uh, uh, get the sms and trying to put inside a file yes if you want to see here uh some distort mm, yeah just they're, they're trying to put inside this and sms file name okay yeah they're writing into a file right uh, and you can see this is a query sms and that parameter has been used so this is where it is trying to read the sms's individually and if you want to see more i think we went for this and if you go here and yeah that's what it gonna it gonna come back there only like that is a inquiry parameter right if you wanna still check uh here i think you can go to here and you can go oh not this uh there will be some task right to uh read sms uh reading not a close close cover uh read sms individually query sms 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's querying individually the SMS, and uh, it's trying to it's trying to put into some file as per uh, 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 as per this. Okay, yeah, this is the file name SMS dot JSON, right? Let's go back. What is happening with respect to once it it it, it all set it into this uh, this dot uh, parameter? Go back. Go back. Uh, still wanna if you if you still wanna search on like how it is performing you can go and you can search for content colon uh, sms so you will get you will get a lot of parameters regarding that and you can check how the body is being get and how how uh, how is how uh, you know, uh, body or SMS thing has been used, uh, or else you can even directly search something like body. Uh, no, no, no message. Uh, probably, M E S S, -S A G. I think it has been directly uh, used there. So we, we will be not able to see it because it, it, it's like with that parameter of content URI. Uh, sorry, yeah, this one. It, it like it was trying to implement everything, right? So let us let us see here. Let us see uh, what it is doing uh, after reading all the SMS and contacts. So with reference of this, it is trying to uh, start a file upload, right? Uh, now this as a reference to uh, this read contacts also and read SMS also. Let's see a uh, SMS uh, file listener and uh, okay, mm, upload started and uh, and uh, we had a file right and you can see an upload SMS file. Okay, come here, upload SMS file. Again, whatever it is failed, it is getting the file name B and it is starting another one of the upload SMS. Okay, and if you see here, so this is where uh, it is trying to send all the SMS files and along with the contacts. Not sure it whether it is appended the contacts because it was trying to uh, only append the SMS files, right? So, but but this is the exact flow how it was performing. Like right? if we if we go back and see properly, so it was trying to fetch all the SMS and it was trying to put inside uh, one JSON file and if we go back one by one, we will be seeing it. We upload SMS. Mm. Put SMS file, start up file upload, file upload from here it started. And I saw some other some other functionality called upload data. We'll see what is this is responsible for. Let us see, let us see this. We can we can try everything. So here it has some send data. Let us see what is this send data. load batch data um, same right upload batch data probably um, some other information related to device uh, okay this we saw contacts okay e e ear ear yeah, yeah okay uh is, is setting is passing contacts okay we'll we'll see wait from where it has been came my my genx is getting uh stuck in, in the sense like it is getting hanged uh i i, I think we saw somewhere the initialize right so the probably that's what like this is another uh you know code flow 
to upload the content there will be like you know when you talk about the mv like mv mv vim uh, architecture or what is that like you know, the way of implementing will be there right so you 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 will be finding lot of ways to uh like exfiltration so it is your choice you either you can directly start with the api or you can go with the main main activity and you can start from main activity how it is performing uh and and, and or else you, you can try to search for some uh, urls here something like fair money uh but i am feeling like you know this jadax has become very 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 slow and buggy i don't know fair money dot probably you might get some any url if if any if any url is available uh com mm, no, there are no coms okay not an issue like it is just a, like you know uh, trying to implement it it's not always you will uh, get get something like that okay the url might be something like uh, api or, or or some other format also you will be not knowing that right so we had to just give a try something like https uh, colon uh, yeah probably this data plane or, or or you can even search something like a base url uh, kind of for strings also here i can't see um, data doc check for uh, fair money okay not this uh fair money build copy yeah okay i see right so this will be the base url where that i will be sending so these are about the spyware guys we saw one, one simple example right we'll be having lot of example you, you can try or you can check over the google you can download some uh, some any application which has a contacts and you can check whether it is trying to fetch some any any contacts or any phone numbers and trying to exploit it and spyware is not only limited to spyware contacts and sms it can even uh, fetch your uh, uh, photos uh, suppose other card and uh, pan card it will ask right so those are also possible but it all depends upon whether you are interacting or without your knowledge right so this is about spyware guys see you in our next phs in other videos bye bye